morning. You're watching the news from the Sultanate of Oman television. First, the headlines. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos grants His Excellency the Ambassador of Iran Al Noman Order First Grade, handed over by His Highness Said Fahad bin Mahmoud Al Said. The Directorate of Consumer Protection in the Wilaya of Barka seizes around 22 tons of rotten rice which are being distributed by the importing company. And Youth and Human Resource Committee of the Shura Council finishes studying Omanization strategy on leading and supervising jobs in the private sector. Those were the headlines. Now for the news in detail. On behalf of His Majesty Sultan Qaboos, His Highness Said Fahad bin Mahmoud Al Said, Deputy Prime Minister for the Council of Ministers, received today His Excellency Ali Akbar Sibawi, Ambassador of Iran, accredited to the Sultanate at the end of his term of duty. His Highness handed over Al Noman Order First Grade, granted by His Majesty the Sultan, to His Excellency the Ambassador for good efforts exerted by him in supporting cooperation relations between the two countries. His Highness wished His Excellency the Ambassador all success in his future missions. His Excellency the Ambassador expressed his gratitude and appreciation to His Majesty the Sultan for granting him this prestigious order and its valuable meanings, which will remain as an incentive for him, expressing his satisfaction and appreciation for working in the Sultanate which his country highly appreciates and respects thanks to its wise policies at all levels. The meeting was attended by His Excellency Yusuf bin Alawi bin Abdullah, Minister responsible for Foreign Affairs. The Directorate of Consumer Protection in the Wilaya of Barka seized around 22 tons of rotten rice, which were being distributed by an importing company. The seizure was in store at a farm in Al Romis area. A number of expatriate workers were arrested and investigations are continuing on the case. They put expired and rotten rice after being cleaned in bags with new valid production and expiry dates. Around 600 rice bags were seized. The Directorate of Consumer Protection sent samples of the rice to laboratories of Barca Municipality. The results showed that the rice was unfit for human consumption. Youth and Human Resource Committee of the Shura Council finished studying Omanization strategy in leading and supervising jobs in the private sector in preparation to discuss it in one of the Council's sessions. This was stated by His Excellency Engineer Mohammed bin Salem al Busaidi, Chairman of the Committee. He said that they studied the strategy and discussed it with all concerned parties. He added that they dealt with challenges facing omanizing, leading and supervising posts in the private sector and proposed some solutions in a way that serve all concerned parties. The report of Youth and Human Resources Committee and its challenges in omanizing supervisory and leading jobs in the private sector will top the discussion session in the Shura Council office, which will be held on the 17th of May. It was announced by the office in its meeting today that was presided over by His Excellency Khaled bin Hilal al-Mawali, Chairman of the Shura Council. The meeting approved the agenda of the upcoming session, which will include the project of veterinary products law of the Gulf Cooperation Council countries. Oman Chamber of Commerce and Industry, represented by the Human Resources and Labor Market Committee, organized an introductory seminar about the Omani labor law, targeting managers of human resources and administrators from the private sector. The seminar aims to discuss values and perception of legal texts by raising the level of legal awareness and develop the skills necessary for human resources managers by their understanding of the labor law and contributing to the stability in the work environment by familiarizing workers with their rights 
and duties. The Call of Peace event was launched in Muscat, including a number of activities and an art exhibition that contains 150 paintings for children participating in the event, as well as the launching of the event's logo. It was organized by Value Center with the participation of 120 children residing in the Sultanate, representing nearly 80 countries, to draw their spontaneous aspirations of peace. The Call of Peace carries a message to the entire world, drawn by children, speak to humanity in order to uphold the voice of peace and the rejection of conflicts and summarize their feelings, thoughts, aspirations and wishes for a better future, free from troubles where they can live in peace and dream of a bright tomorrow. It came with the support of several parties in the Sultanate and the participation of UNICEF and UNESCO. It is considered a message of peace and love from the Sultanate to the peoples of the world. The event was presided over by His Excellency Yusuf bin Alawi bin Abdullah, Minister responsible for Foreign Affairs. Still to come in our news bulletin, under the theme Students' Activity and its role in building the personality of the university student, the Students' Conference is concluded at University of Niswa. تشرق الشمس بفقرات متنوعة برؤية عصرية بنكهة مختلفة وأجواء مرحة بروح عمانية ليفوح شب اليوم مع قهوة الصباح نتكلم عن أدب عماني يجب أن نعطي حقه في فترة ركود نصيب شابه بيوت الغنى مو صدى بيبانها للطارقين التصيد في الأساس هي فكرة بس كيفية تبسيط الفكرة المتلقة مش فيك وانا تنتظر من تنتظر وانا لي أكثر من عندي وانا مقضيها مسيرة القصيدة الواعية هي القصيدة اللي تؤثر مباشرة في الروح عطني دقيقة من يديك أقطف لك الدنيا قلب يشتاق لك ويموت فيه الشعر اللي ما عرف يلفت انظار يترك مجال الشعر ويتبع أمور مهم القصيد البرنامج المهتم بكل ما يهم الشاعر والشعر في ساحتنا الشعبية هنا في عمان Welcome back to the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. Reviewing the bilateral relations between the Sultanate and the United States topped the meeting of His Excellency General Sultan bin Mohammed al Noami, Minister of Royal Office, with General Joseph Il Fotel, Commander of United States Central Command, and his delegation. During the meeting, they exchanged cordial talks and discussed a number of issues related to the two countries. His Excellency Mohammed bin Nasser al Rasbi, Secretary General of the Ministry of Defense, received in his office today General Joseph Il Futel, Commander of the United States Central Command, and his delegation. During the meeting, they exchanged points of view and a number of matters of mutual concern were discussed. Lieutenant General Ahmed bin Harith al Nabani, Chief of Staff of the Sultan's Armed Forces, received General Joseph Il Futel, Commander of United States Central Command, and his delegation. During the meeting, they exchanged points of view and a number of matters of mutual concern were discussed. 
Within the aim to introduce the role of medical work and its performance in medical science, Armed Forces Medical Services organized a workshop on medical mistakes. A number of specialists presented various lectures and explained the role of medical cadres in performing its duties and its works. The workshop was held under the patronage of Brigadier Salim bin Nasser Al Salmi, head of Armed Forces Medical Services. The Ministry of Transport and Communications opened 36 kilometers of first phase of Sinao Mahud Road project starting from Alabiad village in the wilaya of Mudaibi until the end of the project. The first phase of the Sinao Mahud Dukum Road is around 81 kilometers. It is considered one of the vital projects in the Sultanate that will contribute to enhancing the economic movement and other development fields witnessed by the wilaya of Dukum in the governorate of Wista. With the aim to qualify a group of Omani youth working in the field of insurance, Capital Market Authority signed a training agreement with the College of Banking and Financial Studies. The agreement provides opportunities for Omanis interested in studying insurance sector specializations and they will obtain vocational certificates from Chartered Insurance Institute of the United Kingdom. The vocational programs which the students will study aim to provide them with knowledge on insurance sector and enable them to provide high quality service in the field of insurance. Under the theme Students' Activity and its role in building the personality of the university student, the curtain was pulled on the Students' Conference. The forum organized by the University of Nizwa witnessed a participation of higher educational institutions from the Sultanate and other Arab countries. The three-day conference reviewed 28 work papers that emphasized on the role of students' activity in uplifting the study level of the students and qualify them for the labor market. Steaming from the significance of the investment on human resource for better future, Oman Refineries and Petroleum Industries Company or ORPIC signed an agreement to provide scholarships for the third batch of Excel students as a part of company's international scholarship program. The third batch of the program included 10 students from the Governorate of North Batina. The program is part of the company's social responsibility. It aimed to qualify Omani cadres for specializations needed by ORPIC and its numerous projects. The Director General of Health Services in the Governorate of Muscat launched, launched Health Education Day under the auspices of His Excellency Dr. Sultan bin Yarub al Busaidi, Health Advisor, Ministry of Health. More details in the following report by Abdullah bin Ahmed al Rubey. Health and quality of life rely on many community systems and factors, not simply on a well-functioning health and medical care system. Making changes within existing systems, such as improving school health programs and policies, can effectively improve the health of many in the community. With this aim in mind to positively influencing the health behaviors of individuals and communities in Oman, as well as the living and working conditions conditions that influence health, the launching of Health Education Day was held this morning. In her address, Dr. Lajmi pointed out that raising awareness in an accumulative procedure, the process of offering health information and education must be continuous. She pointed out that it was agreed to dedicate the 10th of May annually to mark health education in the Sultanate. A good number of papers on health education were presented that included modern methods in health education, community health promoting activities and social marketing for health messages. On the sidelines of the function, health exhibition was organized. Abdullah bin Ahmed al rubai Sultanate of Oman Television. Now for the general weather forecast. 
Generally clear skies will prevail over the Sultanate with chances of clouds and scattered rainfall over the Hajar Mountains. Winds will be northeasterly light to moderate along the coastal areas of Sea of Oman and south to southeasterly light to moderate over the rest of the Sultanate. Seas will be moderate to rough along the coasts overlooking the Arabian Sea with a maximum wave height of 2.5 meters and slight along the rest of Sultanate's coast with a maximum wave height of 1.25 meters. This is the Sultanate of Oman Television. Before we end tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos grants His Excellency the Ambassador of Iran on Noman Order First Grade, handed over by His Highness Said Fahad Mahmoud Al Said. The Directorate of Consumer Protection in the Wilaya of Barka seizes around 22 tons of rotten rice which are being distributed by an importing company. And Youth and Human Resource Committee of the Shura Council finishes studying Omanization strategy on leading and supervising jobs in the private sector. With that, we come to the end of tonight's news bulletin. From all of us here in the newsroom and the studios, it's good night.